howdy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be reviewing some new products that i got in from born pretty they were kind enough to send me some more products to review so these here are the items that i got and i'll be honest with you guys i don't even remember what i selected okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a closer look at each of these let's see So these are all of the products that I just got in from Born Pretty. Um, let's take a closer look at everything. Looks like I got, oh cool, looks like I got some thermal gel polishes. I got a nude jelly polish, a base coat, and the 10 in 1 nail glue. Yeah, I forgot I got that. Okay, so let's take a look at the base coat and the uh, 10 in 1 nail glue. So this is a base gel that I got. Oh, it's a rubber base. It's a rubber base gel and it's in the color 57253. I don't remember what this color looks like at all. Oh, it's clear. Okay, cool. So I got a rubber base gel and clear. Oh, it's super base gel. Okay, I think it's different. So this is super base gel and clear. What's the difference? One moment. Wow, so I'm looking on their website and it says that this is supposed to last 48 days. That's a long time. That's the super base gel. So it can be used as a reinforcement gel, as a regular base coat, or as a nail tip glue. Okay, so it's supposed to be used as a base gel or a nail tip adhesive. Okay, here it is. Okay, so the two in one nail, so it says it's ultra sticky. So it's supposed to be used as a base gel, a nail tips gel. So that's the two in one part of it. And then it can last up to 48 days. So that's pretty impressive. At some point I'll have to put that to the test, but I do like the consistency of it, okay? It is really nice and thick. I love me a thick polish, y'all see that? The viscosity of it is very, very, very nice. I like that a lot. It's very thick. I don't think I have any base coats this thick. With it being that thick, I think it'll make it really easy to apply full cover tips. So maybe I'll do a quick little demo nail since I actually have my nails free for this. Um, they did also send me some nail tips. So maybe I'll show you guys how to apply it. So yeah, that's the super base gel. That's pretty awesome. Then we have the Tinny One Nail Glue from Born Pretty. Okay. And let's see what this is looking like. Oh, I got it in a color. That's cute. Okay. So it's in a really beautiful nude color. Oh my gosh. And again, you guys see how thick it is? I absolutely love the viscosity of this. I love thick gels. It just gives you more control over the product. So this is a really pretty color. Let's see what color I got this in. 56913-6, I think. Yeah, so that's nice. And then these are the three colors that I got here. Um, this one here is a jelly nude. So let's take a closer look at this. So this one is a jelly nude in JN63. Oh, how pretty is this? You guys see this? OMG. I love it. This is so pretty. It looks similar to that rubber base. I mean, it looks similar to that 10 in 1 gel glue that I just got. That is so cute. And these thermal polishes, um, I got. Five six nine eight nine one three. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, how cute! It's a really beautiful soft pink that has some fine shimmers in it. Gorgeous. Then we got it in five six nine eight nine dash eight. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, I mean, hmm. This one looks a little, a little lumpy, bumpy. Let me go ahead and mix it up a bit. <laughs> Maybe it's just been sitting. Okay, there we go. This is really beautiful. This is like a deep mauvey, mauvey nude color. So yeah, y'all, let's let's get the swatching, okay? Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and put down a thin layer of that base coat before I apply the color to any of the nails. And let's just see how that performs. It's really thick, you guys. I don't think I have a base coat that th that's this thick in consistency. It's very, very thick. But I love that about it. I do feel like it'll make it really easy to apply nail tips with which is really great. So yeah, that's really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and cure. And I'm also gonna put a top coat on it to see if there's any yellowing. 10 in one nail glue, very nice. Oh, I love this color. 
How pretty is this? This is really gorgeous. I love it. Really, really pretty nude. Look at that. Perfect for a French tip, a little nude base for a French tip, glitter ombre. Love that. The thermal polish in number 13. Oh, cute. This is a really beautiful pink color. So I'll be curious to see what the thermal um, version of it looks like with it hot. That is so cute. I love this. Really nice soft pink with some shivers. Shimmers. Thermal polish in number eight. Very nice. Nice little mauvey nude color. Very pretty. Jelly nude in number 13. Oh, that's cute. It's a really just nice like sheer nude color. I like the slight shimmer to it, the little glitters. That's really pretty. So this is what all the colors are looking like swatched out. These are really pretty. So really quick, I want to show you all that um, super base coat. Um, that was a really nice thick polish. I did apply the Born Pretty Super Top Coat over it. And you guys can see it's crystal clear. There's absolutely no yellowing at all whatsoever. So this is a really nice clear base coat. So if you did want to use it to apply tips or... Um, so if you did want to use it to apply tips, you won't experience any yellowing with it. So that's really nice. This here is the 10 in 1 nail glue. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous nude nail bed color. Oh my gosh. Um, and this is in the color TG06. I absolutely love this color and I love that it's a nail tip glue. So you can use this to apply your full cover tips. Um, that's going to make doing French tip nails really easy. Next here we have a thermal polish in number 13. This is a really beautiful pink color. And if you all want to see what the thermal changing color of it looks like when you put it in hot water. As you all can see it turns into a white. How gorgeous is this you guys? <laughs> I love this thermal polish like I love the fact that it turns from pink into white that's just it's just really pretty um, so that's a fun color this here is a thermal polish in number eight and let's see what this color change looks like okay so as you all can see this changes into a really beautiful um, kind of a deeper purpley uh, mauve nude color so I just that's a really nice color shift um between the two thermal polishes so I, I really like that a lot these i might go back for more of their thermals i really like that pink one as well and then this here is a jelly nude and that's in the color jn63 and i really think this is also a really pretty color here on the nail bed so yeah y'all i'm really happy with these colors that i picked from born pretty i'm gonna do a quick demo with you guys like i said um they did include some full cover nail tips um with this particular package so I'm gonna go ahead and find a size zero because that's just the easiest size for me you guys let's see okay so I'm normally a zero in most nail tips here um, and these are some full cover nail tips looks like that they offer these are nice quality if I do say so um, thick at the tip flexible thin at the cuticle um, let's see how it fits the nail bed lovely it's a lovely fit, fits sidewall to sidewall. So that's something when you guys are applying full cover tips, you definitely want to make sure that your um, full cover tip fits sidewall to sidewall. These look like it's going to be a nice fit for me. So I did already apply peel off base coat over here. Well, it's actually not peel off base. It's liquid peel off tape. So this is what you're supposed to use to, if you're painting your nails to like not get your sidewalls and cuticles messed up. I'm testing it off as peel off base coat today. So I hope this works. <laughs> I just applied two layers of it to my nail and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like as I apply it. So I am going to use that 10 in 1 nail glue because it's just absolutely gorgeous. So let's see what this application is going to be like. Oh, and I do also have my, I have my my Melody Susie Gooseneck Lamp. So that's what I'll be using to apply these nails today. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of the nail glue inside the nail. When you guys are applying full cover tips, you definitely want to make sure that you just kind of coat the area in which you think um, where you want to coat the area where the nail will make contact with your natural nail. So I normally like to fill it in like that. Then whatever's left on the brush, I go ahead and just slide it on into the tip just like that. Now with my thumbnails, I typically need a little bit more gel, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in that middle part just ever so slightly more, but this here should be plenty for my nails. So I got my gooseneck lamp here. I kinda just 
put it really low. What you want to do is you want to take the full cover tip and you'll apply it right at the cuticle and then you'll let it flow all the way down. So I'm making contact at the cuticle, letting the gel flow down, and then I'm going to go ahead and cure it. Oops, I forgot to turn this on. And then you go ahead and cure. Damn. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try that again because my lamp wasn't on. I forgot to turn my lamp on. Always turn the lamp on first, you guys. Okay, so when you mess up, you just scrape off the gel again. I'm going to go in at the cuticle, let the product flow its way down to the end, and then go ahead and cure. I'm experiencing an ever so slight heat spike, so I'm going to take the nail out. Put it back in. So that's what the nail looks like on. I'm going to go ahead and do a full cure underneath my lamp and I'll be right back. So I was able to kind of peel this part off before I went into my lamp, which is great. So I just did a quick flash cure. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this off of the nail before I cure it in my big lamp because it's not fully cured just yet. And that's going to make me, and that would allow for me to not have to file anything after application. So that's awesome. So I'm going to cure this in my full lamp. So this is what the nail is looking like after it's been cured on. I will say that it feels like it's on there nice and sturdy, so that's nice. Um, and again, I like that little nude color there, so it gives the, the nail a little bit more opacity. I do think I kind of applied too much, a little bit too much of the product, but let's go ahead and go in with a nail color. I was going to do a French tip nail, but I changed my mind. I want to see how this thermal looks, and I want to see if it gives me that ombre effect that I'm thinking that it will. So then you just go in after you apply your full cover tip with whatever color that you choose. So I'm going to use this really beautiful soft pink. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, I love it. This is really cool. So if you all struggle with ombres as well, like, like I do, <laughs> um, this is a really nice, quick, and easy way to do or get an ombre nail without actually having to do much of nothing at all. So, you apply, I'm gonna apply two coats of this. I'm gonna go ahead and apply. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Look at that, that's so cool. Alrighty, so this is one coat of this polish. How cute is this thermal, y'all? I'm like literally obsessed with it, okay? <laughs> So I'm going to go in with a second coat of this, like it is so pretty. So the white is what it looks like when it turns warm and the pink is what it looks like when it's cold. And I am just loving this thermal y'all. You can even see how it changes colors as it's touching the nail because the nail is still warm. I just took it out the lamp. How cool is this? I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and cure the second coat. Alrighty, so that's what the two coats of coverage look like. Now I'm going to go in with my Born Pretty Super Top Coat and just apply that to the whole nail. And then I'm going to show y'all that thermal effect here. It's so pretty. Cute. This is what the nail is looking like after it's all done. Really quick, I'm going to just go in and file off that little tab. I forgot to do that after I applied the nail. Give it that nice crisp shape. And yeah, it's all done and ready to go. How cute is this, you guys? I love this. So I'm going to dip this in some cold water um, so that you guys can see what that ombre effect looks like. So I'll be right back. I got some cold water here. I'm going to dip my hand in it and let's see what it looks like. How cool. So that is what it looks like out the water. And so as you all see, it's going to give that really beautiful, I mean, really flawless ombre, you know? How pretty is this? OMG. That is so cute. You know what I wish? <laughs> I wish that the pink could be on the nail bed and then it ombres into a white. That would have been epic. Cause it would have looked like a baby boomer nail, you know? So, but yeah, these are still really, really cool. Really, really cute. Um, I'm a big fan of it. I especially love how it looks all white and all pink. Oh, it's just so pretty y'all. What y'all think? I love it. <laughs> all right, y'all. So I'm curious to know if this actually can work as a peel off base. So I'm actually gonna try to pop this nail off. And 
it seemed like it's on there pretty good. So maybe it didn't. <laughs> yeah, this is on there pretty good. So I don't think it actually worked too well as a peel off base. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll figure out how to get this nail off then. Um, oh wait, maybe it did, okay. Lift a little bit over here. Let's see. See if we get a cuticle pusher, see if this, this pops it off here. Um, oh wait, it did. Look you guys, wait, it worked. Okay, well it's coming up on the sides here. It did work, awesome sauce. Okay, well cool. So, that's cool to know. So you can use this as a peel off base. I got this from Timu, you guys. I'll link it down below if you're interested. That's pretty awesome. Yay, I found another peel off base coat. This actually has, it's pretty sticky though, if I must say. It's pretty sticky. I feel like this is a peel off base that you could probably actually keep on for like a day or two and then pop it off. That's pretty impressive. Okay, well that was a nice little test within a, a review within a review, okay? <laughs> so yeah, y'all, I had a lot of fun playing around with these Born Pretty products. A special shout out to Born Pretty for sending these over for review. I always love playing around and testing out their new products. They are always coming out with something new, something innovative, and something great. Um, if you all are interested in checking out some of their products, I do have a discount code with Born Pretty. I'll leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below. I do recommend their products. They're really nice, high quality at a really good price point. Um, so yeah, what was your favorite product that I reviewed here today? Um, I'm definitely loving this 21 nail glue and these little ombre and the ombre gels are just absolutely gorgeous. And I also love that jelly nude color that I got. I, I mean, I love everything. I mean, these are really cool, fun products to play around with. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.